Pillars of Eternity Deadfire with me, Supernotus. Uh, something I'm just wanting to check before we get started. Which is because I've added the camera. Hello. Um, I want to make sure that everything's clear and sharp before I get going. Looks like it should be fine. Let me know how that holds up as we're going along. Anyway, uh, let's get on with it. Let's play some more Pillars of Eternity Deadfire right now. So last time out, I think we arrived at this place. What's the place called again? I can't remember. So let's load up. So let's see what we're getting on with. Let's see what we've got to do. I finally got everything positioned, I think, the way I want it to be. Trouble is, you have to kind of move around your chat position thing, depending on the game. Because sometimes, the position's okay for one game and not so good for another. If my PC streams were flowing as smoothly as they used to, which hopefully they will be soon enough, uh, then we get some more of them on the go too. But for now, we gotta do this. The game is loading, it's just taking absolutely forever. Come on. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is whether the uh, whether the camera is keeping up with things. Maybe a little slow. Right, we're getting there now. We're loading up now. So yeah, I've added the camera. Um, hoping it doesn't add any extra bandwidth usage that might cause any connection issues. And we're at 90%, and we're ready to go. That load took forever. That be the misery's delight. Malnage is pussed up kangaroo. Malnage? Who? Who's that? <laughs> Malnage. High Queen Sea Devil of the Deadfire. Unfortunately, also the second best ship hunter. Second best ship hunter. After yours truly. So probably actually the best, but he's, he thinks he's the best, so... They don't like each other. When they bounded him, I figured for sure the Rat Queen would be the first rat up the gangplank. Malnash be up in Romaro's head, or I've never had a roll on the waves. She finds him for us. She'll sink him soon. Alright, so I guess I need to find him then. I guess we need to find him at some point. For now, we need to go and speak to their. Queen or whatever. Also, I need to find parts. Things of use for my ship. Particularly, um... Apparently I've got enough ammunition, so... Let's just see what's around us. Where are we? We're over there. There's a ship right over at the far side. Um, I guess the... I have absolutely no idea where the, the person will be. Let's take a wander around and just look and see what's in this area. Got a ship right there who I can't get to from here. Uh, we've got some stuff down at the end of this pier. I'm sure there must be something we can we can loot down here. No, that's our ship. So we don't want to We don't want to attempt to loot our own ship. That would not be not be clever. More ammunition, but I don't need. The one thing I've got plenty of is ammunition. I thought this would be a relief. Port Magie. Where are we? Right. What's the mission here? Now that we're here, reach Kahanga Palace in the Serpent's Crown District. And yeah, there's a group of missions there, but those are all pretty high level, a bit too high level for me right at this moment. We can't do them yet, basically. This uh, merchant. Need a fresh jacket of pants? Something more delicate? If you have a frame, I can fit cloth to it without fuss. Oh, he's a tailor. Take your time. I'll give you. He's going to give us some space to browse. Uh, the main thing I want is to 
see what I've got to sell because I've got lots of stuff that I really shouldn't I don't really don't need anymore like those need to get rid of any of the stuff that's just a bit of a pain I've got 10 leather armors that I do not need this is obviously from I think there was a ship we sunk um probably do with keeping an archibus so let's sell eight of the nine an archibus might come in handy at some point uh, leather armor get rid so yeah we've got to just work through everything here first just so I can so I've actually got space in my uh, inventory for, for other stuff in fact is that a better archibus it's a fine archibus, does 27 to 35 damage. That only does, yeah, get rid of that. Rice wine. A hide armor that doesn't look particularly great. That's a poison. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell the grenades because I don't really make any use of them at the moment. So they're just taking up space right now. Uh, fine brigandine. That looks like armor we should use. Don't care about the stilettos. I wonder. Oh, I see. Okay, it doesn't matter. I still have to move it, whatever I do. I've actually got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> that I need to get rid of. It's because we looted all the bodies of those people. Uh, when we were in the other place. I'm going to take that down. I'm going to keep two of those. Just because I get a feeling they might be useful for some of our other members. What have we got here? I don't know what that is, but it's not worth anything. Principe Colours. Uh, Gauntlets of Reliability. Well, we'll keep that. I may as well sell all five of the pistols. So yeah, pretty much right now I'm just trying to get rid of stuff that I don't that I'm not gonna use. Um yeah, sell that. What's that? A guard's helm. Well somebody might want it. Those are worth nothing. Um yeah, sell the three hoods. Got quite a lot of stuff in this. Uh, um, that helmet might be okay for somebody. Sell the crossbows. I feel like there should be a way for me to like mark stuff, like in some other games, mark stuff as not of interest. You know, I don't want this. Get rid of it. Principy clothing is not of any interest to me just in the way um, yeah that can go no one's using a single handed sword that pistol's probably better than the one I've got though to be fair and Eder's probably got the alternative to that sabre uh, keep those miscreants leathers see if anyone can make use of them need to sell the stuff that I've just put in there simple clothing that can go What else do we have? Someone could do with a cape, I'm sure. Sell that. Sell that. I don't need four small shields. Uh, Valian frock coats again. Don't need them. Get rid. Two random hats that aren't of any interest to me. We've got this hat. Valian Tricorn, I feel like we could give that to somebody. Uh, that padded armor is no use. This is going to take me a while. I didn't realize I had so much stuff. Uh, yeah, that can go. 
I've got lots of things to sell. Uh, that might be useful for Aloth. Well, that's that's a better armor than some of the stuff people have got. Sorry, this is a bit of um, housekeeping, I think you could probably call it. What's that? An ingredient that apparently will keep the crew happy. That's a thing we need to be careful of, because I guess if we're not too careful, the crew might um, might mutiny. We definitely don't want that. Sell those. What else do we have that I can sell off? Mm. I'll keep those. Dump that. That looks like everything from there. As far as the party are concerned, that can go as well. Now, before we decide on buying anything, let's just see what we've got that we can equip right now. Those are... Tell you what, I'm going to put that on me. I'm going to make that my secondary weapon. Can you use two at once? You can, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I'm going to do it. Um, Deadlight, jail key, dice, whatever. That armor's better than the armor I've got on now. So get rid of it. There we go, we've changed what we're wearing. Uh, who else? Let's give him that hat just because it makes perfect sense really, doesn't it? Here's where the hat doesn't fit him properly. Oh, it does perfectly. How do you like that? What's he got there? A hand mortar and a battle axe. If I'd known he was carrying a battle axe, I'd have given him that. You can take those. What's his armor like in comparison to this? This is better. What about that? It's not as good as that. So that is going to go on him. And then we'll know what we've got left to... You can have a cape as well. Although it might be a bit long for him. Presumably it, it adjusts itself to the right length anyway. Um, Aloth, I feel like he does need better armour. Like that would be better than what he has now. Yeah, that looks a bit better. And we'll give him that for his head. It seems like head, there's no sort of head armour as such. The helmets and stuff just... Yeah, that looks cool. Well, it doesn't, but you know what I mean. A <laughs> uh, little cape for him. Uh, just one. I don't think he can wear five capes. Now, her... Um... I'm actually thinking I'll give her Aloth's old armor. Hey, wait. Yeah. And also... She's got something on her head, so I think we might keep that on her, because actually that makes a bit of sense. For her to have... I'll give her one of these as well. No. Stick that on her back. Uh, that'll be okay. And last one, I think. Uh, is that weapon better than the one he has? Gladiator sword, 17 to 25. Yeah, this is a better sword. There we go. Although that's got additional 
other stuff to it, hasn't it? Eh, not really. Not anything I'd worry too much about. So now we just need to sell the stuff that we put there. So that, 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 that. Do I need this? No, actually, I don't think I do. Uh, they can go. We're getting there. We'll be able to do something soon. <laughs> I didn't give him a cape, but it doesn't really matter. I think that's good enough. Oh no. There we go. Now, is there anything he's got here that's worth buying? It's mostly hats that he has, and to be honest, they don't have any benefit, really. So, okay, let's keep moving. This looks like a whole area that's going to take a very long time to get through. Go up this way. Okay, so these places it was talking about are stalls. But I wonder... Care for a fish or two? I don't know, do I want a fish or two? Let's take 50 of that, 50 of that, 50 of that. How much is this costing me? That should be okay. We lost a lot of the money that we spent before, but you know. Or that we made before, should I say. Uh, we've got this hunter. That's mostly random bits and pieces that she has. Yeah, nothing of interest there. Uh, this is a ship right over here. I don't think... Oh. He'll be with us in a minute. Oh, he splintered himself. Well, you would if you're working with wood all the time. I can hammer your ship together if you're apt to pay me for it. Having trouble with the client? Aye. Captain Radora hasn't paid me for her commission fine. Right. While I'm up to my nose in debt, the wild mayor... So we want to try and get the money back from her, then. And now, pirates are holding my feet to the fire over some sham of a deal. Are they? If I don't get Radora's payment, I'm uh... going to start carving my swallow net. If it gets me a discount on your labor, labor all hunter down. Do a fair price goes without saying, Cully. It all Sounds good. Down to blasted pans and tires in the end, doesn't it? Pretty much. Show me what goods you have. Do you have anything that's interesting? Yes, you do. Want some repair supplies? I want some medical supplies. Apparently I didn't need any repair supplies. Cannon shot I think I've probably got enough of. Can never have too much water. I'm just looking carefully at how much this is costing me. Yeah, that'll be that'll be enough. Obviously, we can buy bigger ships if we want to, and better guns. Right now, that's what I want. But we might need to change that at some point. So we've got a mission to hunt down the person who's not paid him. Are these all just generic dock workers? Pretty much. Okay. So, does he tell me where that person might be? Uh, the shipwright's plight. Here we are. At the Wild Mare. Okay. I'll look for her. Was that on the map for here? It's down the bottom there. Okay, so we've got an armor shop, we've got a back alley. Arms and armor shop, should I say. There's not much I need to buy right now, because to be honest, money's a bit tight. Who's that? Not anyone important by the look of things. So let's take a walk up here. So neck attack of guards. Queen's birth home. Let's see what's happening inside people's houses. If there's people in there, we can't take anything, but... 
If they're not, well, fair game, right? Plus, we could do with picking up any little side quests that might be available to us. To help us level up a bit. There doesn't appear to be anybody here. Just a weird dog. Well, as long as I don't guess I wasn't so What's in it? Just see if there's anything worth taking. I'll take the money. The rest of it, I'm not too concerned about. Just the money, the money's always useful. I think. It's about the only thing that is, maybe, but... I'll take it. We're working with pirates here, after all, so... Beggars maybe can't be choosers, you know? Do 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 do. <laughs> Come on. Should never have gone in that house. The load time's ridiculous. But we're good. So there was an arms and armor place here. Presumably that's that person. Wanaka, Vanaka, whatever. Dockside arms and armor. We've got a road to the north. The Bardato Estate. Is this house down here by the look of things? I suppose we could go and see what's going on there before we try and find the next location. Valora Estate. Is there anything to do here? Are they going to catch me if I try to steal anything? Answers to those questions and more very shortly, I would imagine. Just depends how it goes, really. Okay, let's take a walk, see what we can find out. Who are these people? I'm looking for named people because I... They're full up. So you rent rooms out? Okay. Forgive me if I mistook you for a tenant. Our quarters set aside upstairs. Passers by with a bit of extra coin will find a why, welcome cot and a Why is it temporary? This is a temporary measure, of course. Why'd you do it at all? It's not my place to share the dealings of the Valera family. My guess would be that they're this running low on money. Family. Suffice it to say that a family in want of coin Yeah, that's about what I expected. ...means of securing their finances. In the case of this estate, that means renting the occasional room. No shame in making a practical sacrifice. Perhaps Very so. true. Speak with Who's in charge? Speak with Atello. You'll find Atello Valera upstairs in his study. Cool. How's business? Well, as they say, business can always be better, yes? I'm sure I needn't bore you with the details. Probably best not to, yeah. I'm not that interested. Who's this guy? Over there, a ship hunter. So I think this. What's that? A scroll. Is this a cook? Chef, should I say? A cook. Is what it says, so I'm just going by what it says. I'm not trying to denigrate his, uh, his work. Her work. Like there's another oh, up to the other floor. Apparently, we need to load an entirely new area to do that. Oh, excuse me a moment. My seat was just a little uncomfortable there. That's better. Oh, a little bit. That's it. I'm caught up in all sorts of things. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Right, where's this guy then we're looking for? Is that him? No, nope, that's a guard. So we shouldn't be trying to steal anything while the guards are watching us. Who have we got? Tello. A new face in the Valera holds. Ah, uh, my name's Supernotus. How are you? Are welcome here. My time Good. Is not inexhaustible. He's going to spare some time for us. What can I do? 
What do you do for the Valian Trading Company? Our ships escort goods and merchants from island to island across that fire. Just that. It's probably more than that, but do they? Okay, well, thanks a lot and goodbye. It's that guy, Martino. There we go, someone else. Probably not. What do you bring to the household? <laughs> yeah, it'll do, yeah. Both very important things. Doesn't appear to be much worth doing here right now. That, of course, could change. Is that the room that guy's lodging in? Break the trap. Uh, we're not going to worry about that actually at the moment. There's no need for us to be robbing places right now. Oh yeah, look, they've set up like a set of bunks for all of their guests. They're lodgers if you prefer. But okay, that, that's pretty much all we needed to do there. Uh, that may We may be brought to some kind of quest there at some point in the future. But for now, it looks like we don't really need to be there at all. And the person we're looking to speak to is in a completely different region of the city. No doubt they'll have a job for us before they'll help us. Because that's how this sort of thing works. You get nothing for nothing, as they say. Let's do it. Come on, let's load. Let's load today. Not happening. Well, it is, but slowly. I feel like we should have some sort of ele elevator music. Oh, that's, no, that's the uh, Jeopardy theme. Oh, it's dark. It's dark now. Okay, so we've got Map Emporium, Adramil. And there's the trading company and the Wild Mayor. What's this? Where's that spoiled brat? What's the problem? What's the problem? Okay, and you don't know where he is though, right? Uncle Langbert would have tanned my hide. But <laughs> I am angry and jealous in equal measure. Angry and jealous? Why? The way he manages to hide. The yeah. spirit magnet. Sientere, that I did not recognize you. She didn't recognize me. I don't recognize her either, so. How can I help? Could I persuade you to watch out for Laro? I paid generously for your travel. Let's just study her for a minute. Digging her nails into her ledger, leaving crescent moon shaped impressions. I, I'm concerned because Laro tends to feud with Orso, one of the local Valera rats. What do you mean by Valera rat? <laughs> the Valeras. Oh, okay. Sea vermin. We squabble and compete, but Laro, the Pastinago, takes it too far. Okay, well, if I find him, I'll let you know. I'll be waiting at the estate in case he happens to return. Laro and his miscreant friends carouse at the tavern. The tavern. Above the Adra Mill and the southwestern bridge. And the falls and the bridge. If you see him, tell Laro to get his good-for-nothing ass back home. Well, we sure. do have this thing with chasing a rogue god to the ends of Aora, but I guess... Yeah, if it's on the way, we'll do it. You know, plus we need to find things out before we can chase that god. We can't just go randomly running around. So that's the Bardato estate at the top of those stairs. I don't think I have any need to go there right now. However, that's a map emporium. I guess we can buy charts for when we're sailing. And this is the Luminous Adra Mill. Let's see what this is about. If there's Luminous Adra here, you'll be coming for it. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in the not too distant future he comes stomping through this town. Because clearly they've not had any major storms or anything so far. There's a rooftop balcony there. Cortina. Check her. Voice finds me before she does her barks of laughter and cheerful directives resounding throughout the mill. If you are here about the taxes, tell the queen. What was she? You are not no, I'm I'm not the tax collector. You don't need to business brings you to my mill. Who are you? She's raising her eyebrow. Maybe I end up dead in the ditch. Nice. She's so she says, at least. Who is she? I need a drink first, Perguano. What do you do here? <laughs> she looks around the room in exaggerated wonder and laughs. They mill luminous Adra. No, apparently not. Is there anyone else worth talking to there that's not going to just mock us? I mean, I probably deserve to be mocked, but, you know. Still. It would have been nice to be nice. Okay, well, there's nothing here right now. That's what people say, isn't it? It's nice to be nice. I don't know. Is it? Is it maybe overrated? I don't know. It's not, of course. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We're almost there. We're ready to go again. Walking around. Marching up. And down the square. There we go. So, where's this inn that we were supposed to go to? It's down at the bottom of this area here, near the Valian Trading Company. Now, they told me to go and see them once... Uh, once I'd met this queen, or whatever she is. There's a guard guard in the way down there. Keep your voices down, my cullies. What's that? Some kids trying to like rob the place. Oh, who's this? A pauper. Welcome to Nekataka, he says. I don't want that. Take those things. I don't have a voice for shanties these days. He can't sing his sea shanties. Well, how's he gonna survive if he can't sing sea shanties? Surely that's his life over. A pirate that can't sing shanties? That's it, he means he'll pack up his stuff and go home. Unless this is his home. Of course. Okay, the wild mare. And we're looking for... Do you enjoy coin? Can you lift a sword? No, I, I can't lift a sword. Can. A young woman lingers near the stage with a mug of ale clutched tight in her hands, though she shows no interest in the dancers. The bags beneath her eyes speak to many long nights spent drinking. Uh, nope, can't say I have. Twenty percent. Well, I'll be doing the work, won't I? Forty percent. You can have forty percent and rights to whatever baubles Oswald has on him. Okay, that's a deal. Haggling for the fun of it, not keeping you busy enough. The man I'm looking for, no, Oswald, not quite. Was especially fond of one of the courtesans upstairs, and Alice. Maybe okay. you can get more out of her than I can. Have you tried being nice? She wasn't receptive to my particular charms. Let's see you do better. Maybe you can get more out of her than I can. She refuses to speak to me, the snippy little cur. Okay, we'll see. I'll Maybe I can. After you talk to her, I'll be here with my beer. 
Fine. So where... What is that guy doing? Okay, settle down. She'll be upstairs. There's Rodora. That was the other person we needed to speak to. Watch me, Aimeko. She's raising her tankard and arching her back to fire down the ale. See, I cannot down the rest. Watch me, she says. Holding this pose with nothing to show for it, she taps the base and furrows her brow. Her mug was empty. Yeah, she had nothing left. Why do you stare? Zamar sent me to collect your debt. Too late to collect? A gang in the northern alley stole every coin. I cannot hire a crew, much less repay Zamar. Okay. Why don't you tell me what happened? Wizard lights drew me like a moth to the alley north of the wild. The alley north. The blow to the back of the head that followed. So that's all she knows. I think that head wound rattled something loose. I stumbled back here and traded all I had left for the comforts of the mare. Right, well Zamara's having pi pirate trouble. Does that have anything to do with it? So, potentially. Those the cannons you be waiting for Zamar to cast you. Yeah. Be seeing more holes in that plan. Yeah, you can't have your cannons if you don't have any money. Sounds like my quarrels with this gang. Tell them Radora sent you. I will. Oh, and somebody's leveled up. What can I do? So let's level her up. Uh right, what was I gonna level her in? Alchemy, and we'll put her metaphysics up to the same as her religion score. Uh, I've got one ability point to spend. Let's make it that. That should do it. Now, they also said that there was someone we could speak to upstairs. This woman that's... Uh, might know where this old elf is. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right. Let's see who we can find. Emir. Sailor. Commoner. Who's this one? Annalise. She doesn't move, she opens her eyes with a lazy smile. Come, lay your head on my breast. I will read to you the work of my favourite poet, Skilbert. Oh, will you? Someone's looking for Oswald, sure do you know him? I don't know who you're talking about. Now please leave. It's clear you care a bit about him, let me help. She's chewing on a knuckle, she's worried. You can see she's worried. Oswald has visited oft of late. He's a sentimental old man. Mm. He longs for the words of our So it's Adrian. He's a deer and okay. To him in their original so maybe that's all it is. He's grown paranoid recently. However. Paranoia. Shadows. The shadows following him and other such nonsense. It was quite unnerving, frankly. He came to me he was unnerved by it. And shoved his journal into my hands. He told me he'd be back for it, but. I've not seen hide nor hair of him since. I wonder. Perhaps his journal would help. Perhaps his me. journal will help. Here, take this key. You'll find the journal in my armoire. Okay. So let's check that out then. I'll take care of this. Don't need that, but let's take Oswald's journal. And let's have a look at it before we hand it over to anyone in case, you know, he was he was suspicious of people. How have I got all this stuff already? And I don't actually have it. Well, where is it then? 
what would be the one at the top of there, won't it? Obviously. Oswald's Journal. This afternoon I walked the streets of Nekataka and felt an unusual spring in my step. Cannot be sure if it's the fine weather of the archipelago or my great distance from the Deerwood and the blasted goose and fox inn that has gifted me this buoyancy of spirit. But I'm grateful nonetheless. Seen no sign of the girl who Leah be praised. God's willing I've slipped her net at last. What girl? As I passed from Queen's Birth to Perrick's Overlook this morning, I could have sworn I saw one turn to face me, then another. Fled the area as quickly as I could, and as far as I can tell, I was not followed. I have many enemies, as a man, as any man of a roguish, adventurous mean should, though none have caused to search for me here. I know these shadows must be but a trick of mine, but still I'm uneasy. Um, as I put me down to bed this evening, I heard a faint whispering behind my window. No one was there, but he heard voices. Symbol of Wudica. Um, what's he gotten himself into then? Doesn't really help me though, it doesn't tell me where he might be. Do we hand this over? Or do we, uh... I think we'll just hand it over. Just let her deal with him. I didn't see anybody else that might have been related to just a random sailor. Can. Yeah, here's your journal. She matters to herself and traces the symbol. Yeah, he's getting mixed up with Woodikins. You damned old fool. Where could they have taken him? You must have sailed through half a dead fire. Did you Not spot really. anything? To be honest, I spent most of the trip out from Defiance Bay, bent over the bulwark, giving Andra a taste of my innards. Right. And I hate boats. You and me both. <laughs> they thought that was funny. She laughed a little as well. To the dead fire. But he'd know. When our ship Who was the captain? Kaka, the bosun told me about a weird temple on an island in the Karatapu Channel, southwest of the city. She wouldn't tell me what it was okay. for, though. Got real spooked when I asked. Weird temple? Sign me up. Take a look, then, and let me know what you find. With any luck, you'll catch the old goat there in one piece, and we'll both leave here with some weight in our purse. Fair enough. Assuming that weight in your purse... Oh, well, he's thanking me for bringing him aboard. <laughs> Tell me about the gentleman of leisure then. Okay. But what? Yeah, what's the but? Joining the gentleman meant leaving a sorcerer. Even the only family I've ever known. Family? Never knew no kin to a sorcerer. They be my salt family. Right, okay. To me, that'd be better far than blood. Okay, and why were you willing to leave them? I don't sell yourself a suole short cap, nor me neither. I know an opportunity when I'll be <laughs> He knows an opportunity. Now I'd seen what there were to be seen upon the gentleman. Learn what ropes were to be learned. <laughs> Methinks a watcher after a dead god will uh, that will definitely be a lot more eye-opening, yes. And believe you me, I do appreciate myself a good trust. Oh, okay. I'm glad you're with me. I've a gift for you. This trinket be from one of the first ships I hunted. Malnage will snatch it. Where did you hide it? Found the perfect hiding spot. So where did you hide it? Were I to tell you that, you mightn't want it no more. Probably not. No, you're probably right. Just a jest, Cap. Nay, I tucked it away in my beard. All right, okay. Malnar shook me down for plunder after each raid. I figured out she wouldn't. But she wouldn't go near his beard. Said my face were like a sore fetish. Why did she treat you like that? Rightly know for sure. Because she was horrible. Thought at first she wanted me. Lasses be that way sometimes. Treating you worse the more they fancy you. Given she tried to get me twice within our first fortnight together, I thought mayhap she were in deepest love. <laughs> okay. Were you attracted to her? 
course you didn't. Fair enough. Might have been the closest you'd ever been to death. Well, thanks for the gift. Fair enough. Right, let's get moving. Gentle. Hail and welcome to the wild. Yeah, welcome to the wild mare, he says. What can I do for you? Alright, well, I don't need to. I don't need to buy anything. But I do need. Now I wonder, actually. Her, that girl's brother. She suggested he might sometimes spend time in here, didn't she? But I don't know. Let's just go just now. Go out of here. And where will we go after that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Guess we'll wait and see. Oh. Whoops. At least the music's cheerful. Won't be when we get outside. Once we finally loaded, we can keep going. Right, so let's take a look at our journal. Every single time it jumps across like that. So we've got a couple of things there. Um, North Alleys of Queen's Birth. Probably want to have a look at that just now. Laro Carises at the Tavern, the Southwestern Bridge, and behind the district's waterfall. So, we could look for a waterfall. This one. Um, a temple to Budokka on a large island near the Karatapu Channel. And we've got the Veins of Eora, which is our kind of main quest there. Um, Kahanga Palace. Well, in the meantime, let's travel north. To the alleys. Thought you of all people would know that. <laughs> well, the art can be a right stupid git something. Don't need that. It's rough in it, but I don't need it. I'll help. Or that. So alleys to the north, that was I think we were there already. The back alley up there, I would assume. Is where we might find these people that supposedly bashed that other person on the head. I don't know how true it is. I don't know if she just made it up to get rid of us. I guess we'll soon find out. So it said it was some kind of pirate with a wolf. Oh, it's that. Who's this? Those are guards. You know, it strikes me there are guards in this place. So she asked him what he calls oh, here we go. And he says the Consueli. Hello? Hello, Cotta. The one causing trouble in Cotta's neighborhood. I thought Am I? Maro's pup kept better company. Oh, a friend? So you still be doing that old referral? <laughs> he's referring to himself in the third person. It, of course, of course he is, because he's a weird guy. Carter has not missed the sound of your voice, Seraphim. Your smoke and mirror ghosts do not impress Kalexia, and they do not scare Carter. What about Sorry, me just really killing you? Same to me. Which one is the pretty wolf? You'll know soon enough. <laughs> What's this? I find them amusing, which is enough for me. Uh, any chance you're the one shaking down Zamar? Carter has solutions. The little man doesn't know how to count his coins. Carter heard a newcomer was talking with Zamar. Wrong yeah, that'd Carter. be me. Let's be keeping this a friendly, it's a friendly fucking chat. Yep. Captain be calling your raise. Look, Celestia. 
Doesn't look like we're going to get out of this without a fight. Tell me the business again and I'll sew your wolf into a pair of boots. What's innocent about it? You and your mangy friend have to sleep sometime. This one's not worth it. <laughs> Just a second. I'm not worth it, he says. I don't think Edder's going to be too happy about what we did, but I also don't think we got his money back. So, uh... I'm not sure how that really helped anyone. Probably didn't. I didn't want to... I don't think Edder would have been too happy if we had attacked them, by the look of things. Although, you know, maybe he needs to just... do what he's told. <laughs> not really, that's... That's not the best way to think about things, is it? Right, where's that guy? Where's the shipwright? Is that him? No. Is that him? No, oh, where is he? I guess we don't need the repair supplies. Okay, where's the guy now? There he is. There. Hey, Zamar. I've convinced Cotta to leave you alone. She was robbed. Yep, Cotta. I might be interested. Be the Iron oh, the Iron Thunderer. Maybe she doesn't stand up to Rowatai standards, but she's got heart. For a thousand and how much is it going to cost me? Crack a hole, scour a sail. Sure, why not? You, you will? Your vessel will spit fire like a worm with a belly full of fire kelp. I've gained four Iron Thunderers. Good. We've got some cannons. Uh, I might... I, see, I might look at selling some Plenty stuff, but I don't know. You'll find no fresher. Just... Um, I don't think there's much I need to sell. What's this? Cypher's shackle that goes around your neck. What does that do? One constitution. I mean, I feel like that's probably a good idea. Let's just pop over to our inventory and uh, pop it on someone. She could definitely do with more constitution points. Sure do, like it. do you? That's good. Okay, off we go. Wait, they said something about a... So, for one of those things, they said something about an, a waterfall. Well, there's the waterfall up there, look. Behind the Adra Mill. I guess we'll take a look at that before we go anywhere else. It's a map emporium. The next door is the mill. And then, presumably, there's a way we can go up to the side and look at this waterfall. She was suggesting the guy might be at her brother might be at. Oh no, that way, look. Let's see, what have we got up here? Mill worker. I don't want to enter the Luminous Adra mill that way. Also, it looks like that's not a waterfall we can go to that way anyway. Where else did she say? Because she did say. So this, oh. the tavern, the southwestern bridge, and behind the waterfall. Oh wait, is this the southwestern bridge? No. That'll be over to the bottom left-hand corner there. Doesn't look like... Oh, maybe from that road north we can get to the waterfall. We've got some level ups anyway, so. Yeah. What do you need? 
Let's do those first. And now what does he really need? Given we've set him up as a as a rogue. I believe. Yeah, boost that. Make him a bit more streetwise. We can use one ability. Do that one. There we go. And another one. What do I want to boost for me? I wanted to boost stealth, actually. I felt like that was a good idea. And I'll put my diplomacy up a little bit too. And I also need... Mule kick. I already have that, don't I? Yeah. Grants a damage bonus while wielding a two-handed weapon. Well, we use a two-handed weapon. So it would make sense for me to use that. And Aloth, at last. Uh, Arcana's his most important skill. As well as uh, Insight might be good. Right, so we can buy a spell, ability, whatever you want to say. Minolet is Bounding Missiles. In his Grimoire, but let's actually teach him it properly. Hi. Yes. Yes. I'm here. Hmm? There we go. Everybody's ready now. Okay, so... Two places that he could be in this area. The waterfall, which it appears I can get to from a path up here near the road north. Let's see what's closer to us. Uh, probably that southwestern bridge down past the cobbler. Ivor the Bright. Oh, I thought maybe he'd be somebody worth talking to. That's the Valian Trading Company's HQ. We'll go there in a bit, but not yet. Wait, which way am I supposed to go to get to the southwestern bridge? I've gone too far. So it must be... Oh, but it's not there, is it? Unless it is. Go this way, see what we find. Let's see. The Queen must calm them down before they go to Merla. How is every ship hunter taken? As soon as I approach the Valian woman, then she squints and turns up her nose. Well, what sort of business are you in? But it is impossible to find skilled work when every competent freelancer wastes their shore leave in the wild mare. When blood travels south of their brains, the value of a good bounty is forgotten. You give out bounties? I could take some off your hands if you want. I do not make a habit of shepherding new talent, but... Ach, there is a seed of potential. We will cut your teeth on the Akara, a Huana sailor and would-be patriot who... Sure, I'll take the bounty. The Akara sails her voyager's scale of Tangaloa off of Hasongo's northeastern coast. Hasongo's northeastern coast. Okay. We'll look at doing that at some point. If you'd been a bit nicer to me, we might have done it sooner, but... Can I go up here or not? Yeah, I can. A giant? One of the red food? No. What do we have here? Such is the rumor. No. Nope. That's not something we want to talk about. <clears throat> okay. The southwestern bridge, could that be this bit up here? Who's this? We've got some creatures we have to fight. A brine imp. I mean, the things we're fighting aren't particularly difficult to defeat, but... But we cleared them, anyway. Oh. 
Who was the person that ran past us? And more importantly, where did they go? That's the exit. We don't want to exit just yet. I don't think. So let's go north and see if we can find out what that... Uh, if we can get to the waterfall up there. But also, did... We tried to go this way. That's the cobbler. Before him, it seemed like we couldn't go this way. Oh, you can't. You have to go the other way. Okay. It's just a path that takes you up a bit. But that's all. So... So yeah, more stuff to, did I go up those stairs? No I didn't. But there's nothing and nobody here anyway. Okay. So that girl's brother isn't here. From what I understand, we're supposed to go to the Valian Trading Company after... After we've spoken to the Queen of this place. Plus she's probably going to ask us to do something, I'm sure. And then the Valians, they'll probably tell me to do something and that goes against what she wants us to do. Just thinking about the ideas of how these things normally work. They want to know what she was asking us to do. How do we get there to that road to the north? Looks like we have to go past... Like, up here? Is it up there? It could be. Well, let's walk up there and see. See if we can go anywhere but into this building. Well, there's someone up there chatting. I don't know who it is. How do I get up there? I don't think there was any other... there were any other stairs. In fact, no, I know there weren't. Okay, never mind. It's not that way, so... We'll try and see if we can find this person's brother. If not, we'll move on to somewhere else and we can always come back and talk to him later. I thought it might be this way, to this waterfall. That's the alleyway though, with that guy that we scared. No, there doesn't appear to be a way to get up to there at all. But there must be, because the road to the north is up that way. So how exactly... Do I get onto the road to the, where's that, where does that come, oh I see, I'll have to, no, wait, let's take a look at this map, that's the waterfall right, there are people there, I don't know how to get there, possibly through the Possibly through the rooftop of the mill? We'll try that. We picked up a few little quests while we were wandering around anyway. If it's not that, we'll go on and try the main quest and then maybe come back there another time. It's not up those stairs which I was surprised by. That's the map emporium. Let's try the Adra Mill. See if going through there will uh, will help. Hope it will. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. It's loading slow. Or something. Right, let's try going up these stairs to the rooftop balcony. Maybe that's a way for us to get there. Seems a bit odd though. Hey, you gotta pass through the mill and go upstairs. The 
Plus, maybe that balcony is uh, not actually going to be any use to us. It might not help us at all. I don't know who that person was that we caught being attacked by imps. Was he summoning them? Did he make some kind of mistake? Whoever he was, he ran away pretty quick. Okay. Come on. Taking a while. There we go, right, now let's see. I'll take care of this. We just picked up a dog. Just randomly, we just grabbed a dog for no... Okay, I don't know how you get to that path up there. There doesn't appear to be a way to get to that path up there. Unless I'm just stupid. Well, you know, it's not impossible. Definitely not impossible. Okay. I may as well just leave here. There's nothing for us to find right now. Let's try and leave the area. Move on with our main quest. Because it's not entirely obvious where we're supposed to be going here. I notice if at some point in the future, once our, uh, once we're doing a bit better, we can buy bigger ships and all that kind of thing. Which I guess then means we need more crew and so on. But without the crew, we can't do anything, so... <laughs> Let's go this way. I don't have to find the girl's brother either. I could just go, who cares? You know. I'm not going to, but. Right, so where am I? That's Queen's Birth. Can't go there. Can't go there. Or there or there. But I can go here. Let me just check. can't go to either of those places. The only places I can go are the Sacred Stair and the Gullet. What's this? Supply? Um, I don't need any of that. So, yeah, let's go to this place. An hour and three minutes. The Principi group notices us walking and approaches us. What do they want? Hopefully they're not going to attack us. Because then I'll have to defend myself. And I don't think they're, they're prepared for that. I just don't think they are. Look what's finally washed into port, he says. Or she says. Or they say. Seraphim stops as the other pirates approach. His fists are bald. And he's angry. Malnage. Like okay, well, be ready for anything. Always, Cap. Mm. Let the visions come. Aching shoulders, wrists, ankles, bound and gagged, the filthy rag soaked through and briny. Malnage shouting. If it ain't the dead fire's nearest captain, still right, right. and sleek. Surprised to see this salty old barnacle's itched a ride on your own. Typical Molnage. Can't match my skill, so you try to spew shit. Apparently so. Boy, when you're as old as me, your skill will still be naught more than the untrained fumbling of an adherent maid to the refined workings of my mind. Right. What are you here for? I've heard about your run-ins with Captains Benweth and Ferrante. Have you? In the old Princip, he seems like. Almost makes a girl green. The envy of missing the party. I'm tracking a man by the name of Romaro. Traitor. Romaro? Romaro ain't no traitor, you mind-blind sack of squids. 
Let's see what his vi the, the visions are about this time. Sharp strike, head hits wood hard, wet of something rolling down the back of my scalp, clamping into my fur, and Mal now standing over me, fists bald. Captain, there be a bounty of some 4,000 pounds on Romaro, quick or dead. I'd be willing to cut you a tenth of that, here and now, if you give me any knowledge you might have stumbled across on your travels. We heard he's on his way to Port Magie. Well worth a try, Cap. Careful, watch. Yeah. You don't want to go making yourself an enemy of the Principe Sen Petrena. Anyone oh, I see. If we aid their enemies, we'll be an enemy you know. too. Fairly well, Captain. See you around, Seraphon. She seems like somebody you want to be careful messing around with. What was that about? Is there anything to do in this place before we? Just a random street, we don't need to be here really. So let's go to the gullet. 19 minutes of in-game time. I don't know if going there will then unlock other areas or what the situation is really. Maybe we have to speak to the Valian Trading Company first. Just don't know. But there's two areas we can go to here, so we may as well try them both. See what we can find, see if we get any quests or whatever. All about questing. We leave the bustle of the crowds behind, making our way along the winding path into the gullet. For a time the path ascends the mountain, even so the cramped walls and rundown Huana buildings close in around us, obscuring our view. We come to a dark passage cutting through the mountain, just wide enough to accommodate a wagon. The path here descends steadily into the rock face. For a lengthy journey through the dimly lit tunnel, we come to the gates of the gullet. The stench hits me first, a foul mixture of rot, air and bodily odour. We notice a guardsman pushing a cart heaped high with mouldering food, which must account for some of the smell. Ahead, the homes of the gullet emerge as a collection of lights amid the darkness. We hear the rush of water below and a frigid breeze wafts up from the unseen depths. That's good. This place looks good. Any food? Mercy, traveler. Never have I been so hungry. There you go. Take some money. Get something to eat. <laughs> you think All right. So they won't give her food. You think even if they did, the Mataru would let me keep what I bought? Okay. Take some food. Eat it quickly. You'll share it? It looks like you've just swallowed the whole thing. Do you not have access to food? Prize share? What's prize share? What do you mean? Enoi. Sounds like there might be something bad going on. He can speak of the hunger? Doesn't sound good to me. Sounds like we might want to have a look around here. Roperu, Amira's winds whip up today. That's all he's going to say to me though. Nothing helpful. Let's have a look at the map. The Narrows. May as well take a look down here too while we're at it. I'll take some cave coral. The na this is the Narrows then, is it? We enter a dim, dim alleyway that reeks of urine and torch smoke. Nice. Hmm. A solid door, nobody's knocking. Hmm. Well, let's go right then. So the Narrows is kind of a maze. 
And I would expect we've got to learn how to how to get there. What say? Help how? Poison me? Akira, no thanks. Okay. The dark cupboard is worth a visit if you're a spell casting type. Well I'm not, but there is one with me. So she said there's a building on the right here where we can speak to somebody. A damp musky that's a villain. They took him. For what? Who's, who are they taking? What are you talking about? What do we have? B has home Annoys homes up here. This was the person she said to talk to. Who's this? A watcher in the gullet. That's right. That's what I am. Some of them seem to just know who I am without without any without any explanation. Don't know how. Considering that this is the first time we've ever been to this area. I guess word travels fast. There's a noy. An elderly ropery man squints in our direction before blinking profusely and then hobbling closer. He's peering at me. Oh, he's pretty malnourished. Can you see me? How do you know who I am? He doesn't look with his eyes the same way others do. Good. Information's good. A dark temperament? comes to the gullet as Amira has shown me you would uh -huh. what's causing so much pain the Rapparo are being crushed, crushed from the top, from the top. We starve well why are they starving it is an agony. No one are they basically being used as slave labor this is the Juana way the fish of our nets fish are drawn for the tribe for the tribe the fruit of our fields, too, is weak okay. to the tribe. And the Coin belongs to everyone. It belongs not to one, but to all spoils. Oh, some kind of communal system. The, of the, tribe. the tribe then partakes... They partake from the top down. down. From the most deserving to the least. And why are Raparu the least deserving? The Mataru risk their lives to protect the tribe. The Kwaru, Kwaru provides skilled goods. Ah, oh, okay. So suggesting that they don't supply anything. Takes care of the Raparu more than we contribute to the tribe. Before, but now there's too many of them. Oh, that's not good. The order of sharing. Surely the people who've got more can afford to have less. <gasps> what did I say? Did I say that out loud? He worked with the Principe Captain. Mad Marina. Morena, they call her. To bring us food from the black market. But for days now, And then what happened? We've had nothing. So somebody stopped that from happening. He was never late with the shipments. Yeah, he has to have died. Queen will not increase the share. Uh, tell me how to get to Delver's Row and I'll think about helping you. Someone at the hole may be able to help you. The Dawnstar sought help before we can use them. It is a fine idea. When it comes to mission work, my brother. Yeah, you say that. Uh, some of the less crazy ones, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Peatley is a child of the Dawn Stars. And has Peatley. the gullet's most cherished healer. She would listen, but would she do anything? Hear your request for charity. It sounds like they might not do anything. 
Okay, so where are we going to find this pitly person? We may as well speak to them at least. But would they smuggle food to them on the black market? We just don't know until we ask. They might report us to the to the local guards and say, these guys are telling us to give stuff to these poor, these lower people. Lower people. Maybe I just used that phrase. Uh, B has home, neck attack of the hole, Pitley's sanctuary. Okay, well, let's go this way then. My sides hurt. <laughs> uh, at least we're having some fun. Oh, I miss this. Surely you've spied him. Uh, He's always brushing himself. See here first. See who's here. I, I, I mean, I, I maybe that pirate has died. It's hard to say. Or maybe it's something even worse that's going on. You know. Who really knows? Sorry, I'm just fixing something. It's been a bit of a pain for a while. There we go. I should have done this before, but, you know, just one sec. Just popping on the little buttons on the back of my controller. So, is there anyone in here? I'm not going to steal anything from these people. If there were documents to read, I might think about reading them, but... There's nothing else there right now. It looked like we picked up quite a few little quests, actually, there, too. Okay, so Pitley's Sanctuary, or whatever it is. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. See if uh, Pitley's here. And if she'll actually help us. Or he. Maybe it's a guy. I don't know. Maybe it's a giant elephant. It's hard hard to tell until we meet him face to face, isn't it? I mean, I would assume it's probably not a giant elephant, but... The woman bends over a pile of dried, bitter-smelling herbs. She's crushing and mashing them on a dirty scrap of parchment, coughing with effort. She steps in front to block her way, wiping a ragged sleeve across her roomy, bloodshot eyes. Good God, I nearly didn't recognize you. Hmm. You look more death warmed over than Dawnstar. Didn't see you there, Shoddy. Listen, you and your... We should move along, she says. I'm not feeling so good, and I'd hate to get you sick. Are you ill? Nothing a little ginger root and some bed rest won't cure. Please, let me be. Uh, perhaps something we can do to help. Wait, you're the one saw one and the other Dawn Stars been talking about. I suppose I am. What have they been saying? There is. There's some sick Raparu in the back. Not much I can do for them now besides keep them comfortable and hidden. Is that why? Okay. Keeping a room full of sick people in the most crowded district in the city? It's better than leaving them Probably in the not. District. But yeah. I we have to keep them isolated. <laughs> it's appropriate. I was told you may be able to help with the food shortage. We tried. But the one away is prize share. Meaning anything, anything they give has to go through the palace. the palace. Best I can tell, our food went to the queen's table. Assuming it didn't rot in the storehouse first. Would you provide them if the principe agreed to smuggle them? Now back on the sorcerer, me and Ramora used to take work like this on a regular. Now we can't go making promises, but uh, yeah, I think me and the captain we could work out a fair deal. deal. That's a She's nodding. I'd ask her myself, but I got my hands full here. She's high priestess at the Temple of Gon. So we'd have to go to the Temple of Gon. She'll listen. Need something. Why are you hiding because the sick people? Drowners lung. Spreads like gossip and kills even faster. What's drowner's a lung? Gift from the Valians. Feels your the Valians? Gets you coughing all the time, trying well, maybe they've got some kind of cure for it then. Cough so hard, she broke a rib. Yeah, that's a pretty bad uh, cough then. Eventually, it gets so bad, you can't hack it out. 
You just lie there, struggling for breath, until you choke on your own. Oh, that's a bit nasty sounding, isn't it? Hey, how are you? I hear it's a long, hard end. Doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> Whatever it is. I heard okay. Sick, so she I brought them here to care for them. City heroes don't come down here. How are you today? What it was. The healers can't help them. I don't think there's much we can do to help them either. Maybe there is. Only cure is an elixir made with I guess the only way to find out is to go and see. As much as an Still, if news of this it's very, uh, <laughs> very appropriate for the current situation, isn't it? No one with any money in Nekataka spends it on the Raparu. Is there any way to get a cure? You can get nearly anything on Delver's Road. Only trouble ah, finding right. it. And pain. It's probably far too expensive. The but we could try and look for it. Don't have many connections in this part of town. But I bet you could find someone at the tavern who knows where Delver's Row is. Criminal types. Might be able to. I mean, I don't know. After a long day of lying, the tavern. <laughs> And what interest do the children of the Dawnstars have in the gullet? The only one. The Helping the Raparu. Like Makes sense. Made to eat from that I think. The left. Not that I need to tell you. And Dario and his principy scum took advantage of the neglect down here to set up the black market on Delver's Road. Go on. All the while. The gullet gets more gullet crowded, gets more crowded. So from the other islands come to Nekataka. Let's see. Are driven from their homes by pirates, raiders, even trading company thugs. Others here All sounds bad. Foreign wealth pouring into the city. What they don't realize is most of it flows between the foreigners and the palace. Uh, maybe Delvers will spread some of the wealth. Dario and his people say. They recruit Raparu to sneak things from the docks. Report on the Right, so they're... They're the black marker, are they? Not when the alternative is eating from a trash pile. Well, that's it, isn't it? Digging out in trash and eating it. Not ideal. In any situation. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Some days. I think maybe this is why Aethus brought us to Deadfire. So we can think? do some good other days. Maybe. I'm too damn tired. Okay, well. Thanks very much. I'm not going to go through to the back of your place because you've got a lot of ill people there. And I don't want to catch Drowner's Lung. Whatever Drowner's Lung might be. But it sounds like maybe there might be a cure for it. Somewhere. somewhere. Just had to go to the tavern, so is there another tavern here? Let's take a look at the map. I didn't want to rest. Let's look at the map. I assume the tavern must be the hole. Would be my guess. That seems like the most likely option. Our cat's following us along. Hey, can you give pets to each of them? Because I know... You probably can. There's a dog, Luke, just to check. Oh, no, no, only one of us can have a pet. Okay. I thought, imagine if each of the characters had a pet, it would be a lot easier. And all the bonuses that they give us. Right, which way? Yeah, cross this bridge and then up. Just lots of Raparu wandering around. And a Valian there. He just sees them as some kind of commodity, really. Let's see, the hole. Or is this some kind of confinement area? Maybe it is. Maybe it's solitary confinement. Hopefully not.
we'll see. There we go, okay, right. So we've got some pirates in here. We've got anybody we can actually talk to. Beer's more water than booze, but it's cheap. Tavern server. Who's this big guy? An ogre pirate. He's an ogre. Pirate. Regular old pirate. Pirate. There's some Zorips there, don't know why. Artisan. Artisan. Couple of musicians. Start a fight at the whole burrow to make sure you see the bottom of it. Just got one of those faces, mate. I'll look at the upper floor in a minute. I just want to see if there's anyone else downstairs we can talk to at all. Uh, not there. An elementalist who doesn't say much to us. Seduzo, this is an actual person. She says, Ramrod Street, on the table near her are a half-empty liquor bottle and a small porcelain cup. Harami. The smell of anise. Harami? Do we expect okay. Today? No. We do not, Seduzo Nui. Then state your business quickly. I want to avoid another surprise. Do you know the way to Delver's Row? Nothing to do with such a place. But I hear the uh, proprietor might know more. Okay, and why are you here? I hope. I sold a consignment of. Iron she was selling consignments. And will return to Rautai with wolves, murkberries, and Andre stars. Are you writing that down? Uh, nay, lass. <laughs> I really moved to a momentary bout of verse by the beauty on display before me. <laughs> Ignore him. Bradley. Anyway, that's what brought me here. I thought Rao Tynes worked out the brass citadel. I see. Nothing. See you later. Don't really want to know. We don't want to dig too deep. In case we get in some trouble. Is this the proprietor? An orlun covered toted ear tip and sable fur leans against the bar counting change and she gives me a wide easy smile hey, and slips coins in her pocket with a wink. And don't fall in, yeah okay. Need something? I'm looking for a way into Delver's Row. Need something, she says. Need something? Dangerous to get there. No, not really. In the narrows. Okay, so which way do we need to go? Yeah. Okay, tell me how. Right. Forward. Look close. There's a secret, I'm sure I don't okay. tell you this, but all the same... Watch yourselves, crooks will kill us as soon as cheetahs. Dario doesn't gut you first. Who's Dario? Stick around the gullet long enough, you might find out. Okay, well, bye for now. And let's go to the gullet and see what... See what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. So she said, turn right and then go straight on until you get to a market stall. And then we look for a... Gate or something. And then we might be able to find, potentially, a cure for those people. Maybe, maybe not. If we do, that'd be helpful. If we don't, well, we'll see what else is around. I guess. Okay, let's go. So, as I said, take a right, and then continue on until you get to a market stall. Who's this? A man saunters over with a jagged smile and he's got a long crooked scar on his forearm. Oh. Bag of coppers for your life. I just crack my knuckles. It seems we oh. made a mistake for give and forget, no? Ah, we could just scare them off with our intimidation. 
No fight required. Oh, someone's leveled up. Just noticed. For some reason I'm automatically on him anyway. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I feel like... That would be good for him. And that. What can we take here as an ability? But plenty of options. Phantom foes. Scare the crap out of the enemies. Ecto Psychic Echo, Rebounding Wave of Psychic Feedback. No. Yeah, we'll do that. Frighten them. Right, let's keep moving. So again, the narrows right and then straight on until we get to a market stall. Let's see. May as well look around, see if we can find it, just out of interest. What is that actually? Incense, mass the odours of the offerings. Right, here we go. Go right. Go forward. Inspect the merchant's stall. And we find a secret passage. Let's go. Pay at all if you want to. Okay, why not? We lost copper, but it doesn't matter. Let's enter Delver's Row. See if we can find anything of help here. There were other places we could have gone to in that other late area, but. I feel like I want to look at Delver's Row. If ever we can. There we go. Okay. This looks like the kind of place where you can get into some trouble quite easily. A uh, blind merchant. Perhaps the sting of fresh pepper. Or maybe you seek something with a stronger bite. I need medicine to cure Drowner's lung. Ask elsewhere, but careful. If the Mataru overseer hears there's a sickness, might be he has more questions for you. Okay. So we need to be careful what we're saying. Because if we're not someone might work out that there are ill people. Do any of these people have names? No. Besides Thug and Pirate. Oh, the figure in the shadows looks up, pursing his lips in a crooked line. My name's Supernatus. I make it my bag to keep my eyes on the new fish that end up in the gullet. You're the type of that bores me. Feel free to piss off. How about I just keep going? Uh, that'd be because there's nowhere to go up there, that'd be why. He doesn't want to talk to us. But we remain friendly nonetheless. Give us something to sharpen the senses. Well, let's see what you have. Of course, I don't know if there is something there that would be useful to help people. I have absolutely no idea what it would be. You know, I mean, I don't know what the medication would look like, what kind of medication they need. I just know it's supposedly going to help with this drowner's lung. What's this door? You are looking for something, I Nico. Perhaps I have it. I don't know, perhaps you do, but you must be new. Must be new or good at disguises. Ah, 
but you are the one the Roparos speak of. They are most fond of you, but not so discreet. But how did you okay. hear about this place? <laughs> Don't tell me it's better not to know. Sometimes it is better not to know. There is something I can That's a good point. Tell me. Medicine for Drowner's Lung. I hope you are not ill. Never mind. But Drowner's Lung is very serious. Very deadly, very Ill deadly illness. The cure is not cheap. But how can one put a price on good health? On the other hand, exactly. you look strong. Like you could handle some hard work. If the price seems yeah, high, probably. there is a certain little favor you could do for me instead. How about I just pay you? Though, if your coin purse is so your medicine, as promised. Hey, how did you do that? Can you do that again? <laughs> the way he's just a pr brought the file out. Bless his heart if his strength and good looks ever go. <laughs> yeah. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. Uh, I think we're good. Thanks for the medication. Now we can go and give that to the people that need it. Imuani and Amawa. No, I don't need weapons from you, but thanks for letting me know what you have. Who's this? No shops this way, stranger. No shops this way. How do I get permission to pass? That's up to Dario. What are you guarding? I think I'm standing here so I can tell you about it. Come on, go. Okay. Fair enough. Get him. Uh oh, we're in trouble, and I can't see what's going on because they've decided to put that over there. Okay, okay, okay. Where's the first one? We may as well just attack them then, because we're done now. And that, as they say, is that. Should we go in here? We don't have much. It's not really anything. Why? What were they guarding? Nothing. His two guards are gone anyway. Well, there's more down here. Yeah, we'll take another dog. Why not? We're just picking up animals as we go. What's this? A cloaked elf. An ogre. And the spindle man. Okay, who's the spindle man? He's a vithrak, apparently. Is it true some of your kind he... of fur that Why did I let him speak? What secrets does it bring? Let us see. Let us see. Keep your secrets. Cap. A fork probe ain't much to worry over, but I'll be a two-headed ogre if that's the only trick up them silk sleeves. I'm sure he has other tricks. Let's talk. Why don't you ask me what you want to know? Yeah, he's not interested. Snapping its what mandibles. When you can see for yourself. Fair enough. A watcher, the deer wood, the untamed wilds of the living lands. I don't want you in my head. We wish to only see. To know. To know yet Kith, Kith hide and hoard their secrets. I don't trust this creature at all. Yeah, but. Hmm. What are you doing in the gullet? We dig. The city they dig in people's city. minds. Another oh, and there's a city under the city. It teems with young secrets. Secrets? Rivalries and betrayals. We seek the older secrets. So they're wanting to go deeper and find other secrets. Okay. on weathered stone. Your friends, the hmm. broken down creatures of this place. They know the old secrets. They know, but they do not tell me. Some of your neighbors are upset by what you're doing. His is a small mind with small concerns. What do you care for him? You care for who? Oh. 
Uh-oh. Uh Let us see. Let us see. Back in. I think that's enough of that. That's just enough of that now. Yeah, we got it. Uh, we need to take out these ogres because they're a bit of a problem. Next one. Oh, one of us is two of us are dead. There we go. Right, we're okay. But we're going to have to rest. Or not. Unlock with his key. A white witch mask. Sounds good. Mm, we're going to have to rest, though. Resting's not allowed in this area. Fair enough. I'm here. We're all together now. We will need to find somewhere to rest, but... We've killed whoever this spindle man was. Let's just check our journal and see if that was useful for anyone. Mm, give the drowners like main medicine to Pitley. We had to kill him anyway because now we knew about the medication. Uh, ancient temple near Karatapu Channel. That's the gullet. Uh, yeah, that might be why. Could that be why? Because that guy took over his place. Uh, let's go to Pitley to get out of here. Well, let's just see, is there any way to go up there? Is there nothing we can do in this place? It's just where all the medication, where the stuff gets dropped down, I guess. Well, let's get out of here now, there's nothing else for us to find. I think we've seen everywhere we can. It certainly looks that way, let's get out of here. We might get attacked by that guy whose guys we destroyed, I guess. If we do, we do. That fight was actually quite dangerous. We almost died from that. A couple of us are a couple of us did. Uh, let's go back to the gullet. And we can chat to uh Well we can talk to Pitley and give her the stuff before we move to the next area. Because we obviously need to find out, first of all, who's smuggling. Well, we need to actually, first of all, get verification that these Dawnstar people... It's just a generic Raparu person. Just out of interest, there was a path. Ah, I wonder. I thought there was a path that took us to Pitley a bit more easily. Down here. Yeah, because that's her place there. Oh, these people are just in the way. But here's Pitley's sanctuary. Let's give her what she asked for. The medication. Obviously that other guy thought it was for me. So I wonder when we were in that place whether Here's your medicine. That could save an awful lot of sick people. There you go. Have it. That's the stuff, all right. Thank you. Hmm. That's from me and from the children of the Dawn Stars. <clears throat> Excuse me. How got some warmth? Let's see. So in there are all the ill people. Well, I'm not going in there. I'm just going to leave. 
But it would appear that I've helped her out at least. Maybe I should... Why have I got that coming up? Give medicine to Pitley. She and the Reparo are recovering. Out we go then. Because we need to go to the temple anyway to get permission to sneak food for the Reparu. But now what we need to do is go to the next area. Hmm. Come on. I realise we've not done a great deal so far this time. Oh, someone's come in. Who's this? You've caught the eye of someone important. Have I? Interested in making good pay and a good friend? Head to the narrows at the western end of the gulf. Once you reach the alleys, go right and right again. As soon as right you and right again. Then follow the bend to the left. The bullies guarding the door have a weakness for chewing Sven. You can follow their trail. Tell them Derek right, right, and then round to the left. And remember your manners. Dario. That's the guy whose uh, guards we killed, right? That cat's called Ickus. Like out of... Uh... Yeah, so they did. So... Oh wait, that's not... Where's... Oh, right, no, no. Oh. Go right. Go right. Go left. Uh... Dario sent a messenger for me. Yeah, okay, let's go in and see. Dario away. Will he be happy because I got rid of the... Spindle Man. That rather... Worrying insect person. Who's this? Don't keep the boss waiting. Yeah, okay. I killed some of his guards, though. A thin, long-limbed man holds a handkerchief in one hand and a threaded needle in the other. As I approach, he sets his handiwork aside. I notice a strange bulk between his trouser legs that runs from hip to ankle. Ah, here you are at last. The Watcher, whose name graces everyone's tongue, but on whom none can decide. You must Apparently so. But I prefer to remain among the comforts of home. I understand. Oh, there, Dario. Been a ticket to I. I ain't <laughs> seen or no rare of your scurvy ass since I were on the sorcerer. I have been busy, yep. as have you and your new friend, no? And among yes. Adults, for you have made a rather grisly <laughs> mark in Delva's role. Well, but had I only known there was a watcher in my midst, I would have extended the invitation sooner. Why are you wanting me here? One that could use a watcher's skills. There is an artifact and what is that job? Of waves, which is currently in the possession Takano. of a Juana named Takano. I would like you to... And what's it for? So why do you need a watcher to do that? Watchers see what many cannot. Takano is a man of many vanities, as your special gift. What kind of vanities are we talking about here? This villa is on the eastern edge of Serpent's Crown, just downwind of the palace. The Serpent's Crown. My first hired was too bold and found herself ejected from the district. With your unique talent. Fair enough. I am hoping you can avoid such complications and persuade the con. After all, you can certainly try to avoid drawing the ire of our Mataru hosts. When you have the cornet, bring it to me. I will pay you well for it, and you will find my favor useful in this part of the city. What is it? It's an old Juana artifact. Juana artifact, but what do you need it for? 
ages ago. It was part of a pair. But it's okay. the coordinate of depths was lost when the old city sank. Both are said to carry the voice of the voice of Andra. I do not believe in such superstition, of course. I see. Have you any other questions? What do you want to ask about something else? Mad Marina. First, you must bring me the cornet of waves. Okay, farewell. Could have asked him about his legs, but I feel like uh, that might be a dangerous question to ask. You know? So let's go back to the gullet. And let's move to another area of interest. Also, I don't know if we can go everywhere yet. I don't know if those places are locked for a storyline reason. Or if it's just because I've not gone to the nearest area yet. I guess we can find out quite easily. Let's see. Oh no, we can go to Periki's Overlook now. I want to go here first. <coughs> Excuse me, I caught myself before I sneezed there, hopefully. Can I not go here? Not from this side. Do I want to go there? Okay. Mm, actually... No, do you know what? I want to go to the other side of the map. It looks like I unlock places just by leaving from the correct path. I mean, I am a child of the Dawn Stars. Even at first lay I'm a gonad. That's uh that's good, I guess. Do you? Uh, oh maybe you don't want to talk about it. Alright. Truly some other time then. There is only one way out of here, isn't there? No, there's no other path out of here than that one. Just check. Oh, there's a path to the top. Another neck attack a cave. Oh, what's happening here? What's going on there? I wish to consign her to the old city as well. Let him go. Fear, I'm What's going on? My tongue flops like a dying fish. I tire of it. Stink. Lower him down. To the old city. What is that about? Cards drag him into a metal cage and lock him inside. Shouts and rattles the bars as it's lowered. And then we hear his, him screaming in the depths. You cold -blooded eels. Yeah, they don't care. Do they? They're not going to care. Okay. What was that about? Find Biha in the gullet. Well, her house is just down there. It's about Shodi. What did you want to ask? see that and she's spirited and if I was still young and didn't know the things I know it'd be different but anyone yeah. who's got that much faith in any god let alone Aethys yeah. I don't know how to talk to someone like that not these days I get why she's well, like no. and I was there once a long time back but it's cause of that I can't see a way to respect it I'm no good at hiding well, just don't reason. tell her I don't see this getting better There's more to her than that, though. Well, she doesn't worship Aethys. She worships Gom. I suppose. Yeah. Cullet is no place for outsiders. I've been here for a while. It doesn't seem to be that bad. 
go and chat to this person and see why he was launched deep into wherever. You know what happens to them down there? Do they die? Do they drown? Is it just somewhere that's underground or... Is there something there? Uh, she thrashes a row of tunics and sarongs hanging from the rafters, her pointed teeth gritted in frustration. Her lips set in a snarl. Is gone. Okay. What more do you want? Take a deep breath and let's talk about it calmly. Forgive me. I thought you were one of the yeah, she thought it was someone else. My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Well, maybe she's not alive. How did I know the man who was lured into the old city? Bataro is punished already, I say. Whatever offense he gave, do not hang it on our necks. I know, but I'm not here to harm you. We say the only thing that live in these depths are ghost eels. And fish eaten by ghost eels. <coughs> Which are you? I'm not totally sure, to be honest. Bring riches in our big ships. But what reaches the gullet? Only crime and sickness, I say. What does that have to do with Bataro? He said we would finally leave. What happened? I heard a Rautine captain took up at the tavern. Seduzo. Oh yes, yeah, Seduzo, we met her. Traitor. So I thought maybe she will take passengers. Bataro went and Don't be silly. The tavern. Next I see him. The guards are dragging him to the cage. Guards dragging him away. Maybe I can talk to her. Everyone knows the Rawatayans are made of brass. They listen only to their commanders. But still, maybe it goes different for you. Maybe. Bataro took some coin. Only one way to find out. Scraped together, working on the docks, and he went to bargain with the captain. I would offer it to you, but it is probably in the old city with Bataro, or in someone else's pocket. Uh, how many of you need we passage? Six, three children, two babes, and me. Are they all yours? A strange question. A Raparu child is the child of all Raparu. At least that is the way in the village Fair where enough. and me came from. But here... I know the reason, don't you? They were had money. No one looks in on the they weren't allowed to have money. Children. I could look I for him. I asked someone to go down to the old city, but... Since you offer, it is a big and dangerous place. But perhaps he hid himself. Perhaps... Please, help him if you can. Uh, I will see if I can. Maybe not right now. Okay, well, bye for now. They could come with us. Wait, actually, that's a good question. Could you take a different ship? Many ships leave from Queensborough, but the Valians take slaves. They say the Principes smuggle goods in the caverns below, but I cannot trust such people. But the Rawatians okay. have mighty cannons and a big homeland they abandon for ours. Okay, well, I'll let you know if I manage to do something about that. But for now, let's move on. I've not done much questing, really, have I? I've just been picking things up. So I'll probably make this... Uh, once we get out of this area, we'll make this the next thing. We do... Actually, do you know, I think I'll go and speak to that woman at the tavern. Find out why the guy was arrested. I mean, she'll know, right? She was there when it happened. And I've already spoken to her once. Let's see if it works. Probably not. Or maybe we'll get arrested and drop down there too. The old city. Sounds... You know, they think it's dangerous, but then again... Have they actually been down there? To say what's there? Let's see what she's got to say if we talk to her. What is your business with me? Did you cross paths with Bataro? 
These Huana learn too many pretty words from the Valians. You cannot trust what they say. What exactly happened? Fella wanted passage on my ship. As if I were the village ferryman. I told him okay. to be had. Certainly not at his price. Then what happened? He told me he had coin. Lots of it. I did not believe him. How could a man mm. who lives in a garbage heap have enough money for passage? So you assume he saved it. Him to the wolves. No, you presumptuous Adirin. I assumed nothing until I saw the Swollenet. The Swollenet? Coin. A token of allegiance. The Principi carry them. Okay. I knew then that I was dealing with a pirate. I had heard they were influential. Oh, she doesn't like pirates. But I did not realize how much so. I called for the guards and they dragged him away. That is the last I saw of him. Well, his children and wife need so out. Do. The passenger quarters have been reserved by a dwarf named Orin. Why do you bring this to me? Mm. How much would she take to take them? Okay, well, let me think about that. Tell me about Orin. Okay. He just finished a contract to guard the Valian Luminous Mill. I hear Anamancers are also particular. He's upstairs. Yeah. Just do not interrupt him if he's arranging things. Okay, well. I'll see you later. I'll go up and talk to him. <laughs> what am I going to do? Go up and talk to him and then say... And then come back down and go, oh, uh, he's not going to be travelling with you anymore. I think whatever we do up there, we'll make that the last activity for tonight, guys. <laughs> Music's good. Right, let's see. Where is he? Is he here? Oren, he's a gold packed priest. He's a gold packed fighter. And he's Oren. <laughs> Excuse me. Every time. Just have to wait. Okay. Don't see why you'd spend out time equal amounts of wine. Face. Probably rationing it. I don't see what Sedusa was fussing about. Nothing wrong with being tidy. Cheers. Uh, something wrong with being a pain in the well. What do you require? Hmm. Here you bought passage on Sedusa's ship. The good captain has four adequate berths, all a most agreeable arrangement. And what would it take for you to cede your spots? We're due in Tokoa for another contract, and the client has already paid the advance, and we have already paid Seduzo. I could uh, certainly take back the same coins I have already spent. I think he'd offer for it. Is bound by his contract, and ours binds us to make all possible haste to Tokoa. Booking passage on another okay. ship on such short notice would be most expensive. I'm trying to help a woman and her family seek a better life. Filled with misery to say nothing of the gullet. Folks like you ain't helping. Have a heart. Or is it already dead in your chest? Mm. I have oaths to keep. Perhaps that means little to you, but I am bound by them. <laughs> He's bound by his oath. You imagined for them in Ralatai. They will only trade one misery for another. Besides, I have a contract to fulfill. I can pay you enough to book passage on another ship. All ships leaving for Rawatai are laden with luminous Adra and other rare goods. Mercenaries, even of our skill, do not rate so highly. I'll think about it then. Somebody downstairs is asking for your trouble at the mill. I don't want to... I'm not going to, like, kill them or anything. I feel like that's just ridiculous. For what we're doing. 
What's this place? That looks a bit weird for for in the middle of a place like this. Wonder what that could be. All right, but I'm keeping what's in there. Oh no, don't don't open that if it's locked. Okay, well I think that's where we're gonna we're gonna finish for tonight anyway, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, uh, please feel free to drop a follow there on Mixer at mixer.com slash supernotus and if you're not watching on Mixer but you are watching on YouTube or want to watch on YouTube uh, you can find me at uh, supernotus streams and if you're watching my streams or my other videos there please feel free to hit that like button and maybe add a subscription too but for now thanks a lot guys and I'll see you next time probably tomorrow with more of this good night